1D proton and carbon-13 NMR spectra gives us information about the number and different types of protons and carbon-13s present in the molecule. But the question is, which proton is attached to which carbon? Now, that question is answered by a two-dimensional NMR technique, which we call the heteronuclear multiple quantum correlation, or in short, we call it the HMQC. So this session is about HMQC. We will see how we can read and interpret the spectrum. So let's begin. So as the name indicates, HMQC is a heteronuclear two-dimensional NMR technique which shows correlations between protons and their attached carbons. So it's actually a heteronuclear correlation technique that shows us scalar couplings or through bond couplings. So basically, this is a technique that shows one bond coupling between proton and carbon. Or in other words, we can say that it shows directly attached protons and carbons through the different correlations present in the spectrum. Because it involves carbon, which is an insensitive nucleus in NMR, a good HMQC spectrum can be obtained in two hours. Let's see how the HMQC spectrum looks like and how we can interpret and read it. So here is the HMQC spectrum of menthol. As I told you earlier that it's a heteronuclear two-dimensional NMR technique. So it's a correlation between proton and carbon. So you will see both the carbon-13 and the proton scales in the HMQC spectrum. Unlike COSY spectrum, if you remember, which had a diagonal going right across the spectrum, HMQC spectrum does not have any diagonal. It just shows us the contours which we have to connect both on the carbon-13 and the proton NMR scale. For reference, the proton and the carbon-13 spectra have been plotted on top and on the left-hand side of the spectrum. So let's see how we can solve the spectrum. So each of these contours that you see in the spectrum these show correlations between proton. And remember, it's a one bond hydrogen carbon coupling. So it shows us directly attached protons and carbons. Let's start with this contour and see how we can obtain information from this contour. So you have the structure here for the menthol, some of the carbon atoms. In fact, all the carbon atoms have been labeled as uh, one, two, three, up to 10. And this, the, the peaks are also labeled for convenience. So let's see uh, the correlation of carbon number one. So to see the correlation, we have to connect this contour to the, onto the carbon 13 as well as on the proton NMR scale. So we go down on the proton scale and this meets the proton scale at about 3.3 ppm. And now we have to connect this dot to the carbon-13 scale. So we draw a line with pencil and you can see that it connects almost uh, at 71 ppm. Now this shows that the hydrogen that resonates at 3.3 ppm is attached to the carbon that resonates at 71 ppm. Right, so this is carbon number one and this hydrogen here resonates at 3.3 while the carbon number one resonates at 71. And it's logical because you see this is a CH attached to hydroxyl group which resonates around 70 ppm. Right, then we have the carbon number two here. Uh, you can see the peak for the carbon number two. Let's see the correlations. So 
we can connect this onto the carbon scale like this again so it resonates at around 50 ppm and down on the proton scale it touches around 1 ppm so this carbon number two the ch here has a proton that resonates at about 1 ppm and the same carbon resonates at about 50 ppm and then we have this carbon number six and if you look at the structure carbon number six is a ch2 and the two protons are actually magnetically inequivalent that is they are diastereotopic so you will see both of them resonating at different chemical shift values so this proton here it resonates uh, at around 1.9 ppm and this proton here it resonates at about 0 0.8 ppm so let's see if you start from here and connect this to the carbon it will connect both of these dots or contours to the same carbon atom because they are attached to the same carbon which resonates at about 45 or 46 ppm and if you go down on the proton scale the chemical shift values are different so this resonates at about 1.9 ppm and this one resonates at about 0 0.8 ppm which means that the two hydrogens attached to this carbon number six which resonates at 45 ppm are appearing at 1.8 or 1.9 and 0 0.8 ppm and then we have this carbon number four and again you can see that it's a ch2 so these should also be uh, the diastereotopic protons so you will see that we have two different proton values but the carbon value will be the same it resonates at about 34 ppm going down on the proton scale you will see that this one resonates at about 1.5 ppm and this one resonates at about um, 0 0.7 ppm so the two protons attached to carbon number four resonate at 0 0.7 and 1.5 ppm and then we have this carbon number five which is a ch you can see here and so this carbon itself resonates at about 32 ppm and its proton its attached proton is the one that resonates at about 1.3 ppm down here and then we have carbon number seven which is a ch again this carbon resonates at about 25 or 26 ppm and its proton resonates at about 2.1 ppm and so you can use a ruler to draw straight lines uh, horizontally and vertically and then we have these ch3 groups so they resonate at about 15 or 16 ppm and down here they resonate at around 7, 0 0.7 ppm so this is how you can read the HMQC spectrum. Let's see another example. Uh, here is the, a portion of the HMQC spectrum of this molecule here. And this portion shows the aromatic protons. As you can see down here, this is a region. Uh, this, this is a portion of the spectrum from 7 to 7.75 ppm. And right here on the right hand side we can see the carbon 13 scale that is from 104 to 132 ppm and again we can see the contours some of the contours are not single spots but a combination of different spots so you have to start uh, analyzing it right from the center like from here you go to the right and this carbon at around 118.2 ppm or 118.3 ppm has a proton that resonates at about 7.1 ppm so it's an aromatic ch you can see one two three four five six ch aromatic chs so this 7.1 proton is attached to the carbon that resonates at 118.2 and this one here it almost resonates at around 127 ppm and down here its proton resonates at about 
7.32 ppm and this one here resonates at about 105 and it's proton you can see it resonates at about 7.25 ppm and similarly you can draw correlations of all of these uh, protons with their corresponding carbons let's see another spectrum and this is a very symmetrical molecule so we have one uh, aromatic ring with three methoxy groups you know that the methoxy carbon resonates uh, around 50s or 55 and 56 ppm and the proton resonates at around 3.5 to 3.6 ppm so let's see what we have got here because it's a symmetrical molecule all the ch3s are magnetically equivalent so they should give one carbon and one proton signal so you can see that this carbon at 55 is actually the ch3 proton and if you extend it down here on the proton scale you will see that it resonates at around 3.7 ppm right and then we have the chs of the aromatic ring and again because it's a symmetrical molecule you will see only one chemical shift value for the protons as well as for the carbon atoms so we see that this carbon here uh, resonating at around 92 or 93 ppm is has a proton attached to it that resonates at around 6.08 or 6.07 ppm interestingly hmqc spectrum does not show the quaternary carbons because it's a direct connectivity or correlation between directly attached carbon and hydrogens so we can only see ch ch2 and ch3 carbons but no quaternary carbons in hmqc spectrum Sometimes people analyze molecules through HSQC spectrum, that is hydronuclear single quantum correlation. Both of these spectra give almost similar results. So, but uh, nowadays normally people use the HSQC spectrum. So this was all about how you can detect the hydrogens and their attached carbon atoms in NMR spectroscopy. This is done through a two-dimensional HMQC or HSQC spectrum. I'll see you with another two-dimensional NMR technique. Till then, take care and thank you so much.